All right, Nick, let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. I think the Dolphins have answered a lot of questions this offseason, whether it's offensive side of the ball, defensive side of the ball, whether it's through free agency or the draft. And today, I think they have answered one more of those questions with a really big signing that they have just made. Myers, I agree with you 100%. Dolphins fans have been waiting for this move all offseason. We've been hearing it in the comments section about this is the kind of move the Dolphins need to make to finish out their title run. They went out and did it. But before we get to that news, Dolphins fans, obviously this big news we're going to get into shortly. But discounting that, give us your favorite move of this offseason so far, whether it's a draft pick, a trade, obviously the Jalen Ramsey move uh, looms large, or any other move the Miami Dolphins have made this offseason. Give us your favorite Dolphins move this offseason in the comment section below. And stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear a word from our partner today's video that is neuro they have a great product that gives us a quick and easy energy boost mys and i both love their gums and their mints to get us through the show it gives us the edge we need to create this content so stay tuned to the end of the video to learn more about the great product from neuro and to get access to our special discount code but all right mys what you got what's the big move out of miami yeah nick so obviously the big big question for the dolphins the thing the fans have been talking about the most we see it in the comments all the time is okay we've made all of these great picks what are we going to do about the offensive line Two has got to stay healthy. He's got to stay safe. We've got to shore up some things there. Well, they went out, addressed the need again today. I think this was a huge move by the Dolphins. They go out and get Isaiah Wynn, former New England Patriots. He was a 23rd overall pick out of Georgia in 2018. I think this is a big time pick. I'm going to get into the article and then I'm going to get into some other uh, things of where I think he will fit in with this Dolphins team as well. But Nick, nonetheless, Long-time anticipated Miami Dolphins move for their offensive line has arrived and it involves a former first-round pick from the AFC East rival New England Patriots. The Dolphins are signing former Patriots number one or first-round pick Isaiah Wynn, as first reported by NFL Network's Ian Rappaport and are now conferred by a league source. Wynn becomes a second veteran free agent the Dolphins have signed from another team this offseason, joining the interior offensive lineman Dan Feeney who came over from the New York Jets. All right, Nick, this is a huge move for the Dolphins because we know that the, there's been a lot of points of contention on this Dolphins offensive line. Now, Taron Armstead probably going to lock down that left tackle position. I think he's got that uh, in hand very, very well just because, you know, he, he's a four-time pro bowler. He, he's been very good, so I don't think his job's in jeopardy. But despite comments from Chris Greer, uh, 2020 first round pick Austin Jackson may be in contention in that spot for the right tackle position. Greer said that, that he had the job, but then they bring in Isaiah Wynn, who did uh, switch to right tackle last season with the Patriots. So that could be a potential fit for him there. I'd say uh, Jackson didn't really have a great year last year. He graded out no. as a 57.9. And the other a uh, point we could see him come into this line is that that left guard position Isaiah Wynn has played guard at times in his career and Eichenberg he he played really badly he graded out of 39.8 which is 75th out of a 77 total guard ranking so I think he could easily be immediate upgrade at that position as well but Nick nonetheless there is a path to starting for Isaiah Wynn on this Dolphins offensive line after being a little bit banged up last year but i'm curious to hear what are your thoughts on this signing for the dolphins and how do you think isaiah win fits in with this team yeah so the first things first anytime you make any move any acquisition you got to look about what are you giving up for that player because it's it's one of those things it's obviously there's the, there's no such thing as a free launch right you're giving up something like if it's a trade it's draft picks or a player or, or a team is signing a free agency in this it's okay what are we giving up salary wise contract wise all reports are right now that it's a one-year team-friendly deal. There aren't specifics at the time that we're recording this content. So this is a smart move from Greer and Company from the Dolphins organization for getting this guy on a team-friendly short-term deal. They're not hurting their long-term premise, right, which is could be the risk because they are looking for some more depth at the offensive line. They could have been forced or feel tempted to lock this guy up to a three-year, $30 million deal. Not unheard of for veteran offensive linemen that have had moments of playing left tackle at a high level, which Isaiah Wynn has. So credit to Greer and Company for doing a good job and not overpaying for a guy who does have some injury issues. But when he's healthy, Mike, he is a quality player. According to PFF, in 2021 and 2020, in the two years he was fully healthy with the New England Patriots, or two most recent years, he graded out in 2020, 82.6, and 2021, 74.9. For those of you who aren't familiar with PFF grades, that 75 to 85 range is a Pro Bowl level. So from that perspective,
perspective, if you've got, if Isaiah Wynn is healthy, you've got a pro bowl caliber offensive lineman who has experience at left tackle, at left guard, and at right tackle, two of those positions you desperately need help, and you got them a team-friendly one-year deal. That is awesome by Chris Greer and company running the Miami Dolphins. And look, we heard about it all the time. We did our video on A-Chain talking about how we like to pick up. You're like, oh, who's going to draft? Uh, who's going to block for this draft pick? You know, who's going to play left guard? Who's going to play right tackle? That's a big question mark for us. Your question just got answered because this is a guy who lined up at left guard last season. He lined up at left tackle last season and he lined up at right tackle last season as well. In fact, there was literally a his, his final three games as a New England Patriot, right tackle, left guard, left tackle. Week eight, week nine, week uh, week eight, week nine, and then week 11. I think they had a bye week 10. So this is a guy who week to week could change his position and still get it done for the Patriots. I look at him to immediately and, and potentially win the right tackle position. But if that doesn't work out and Austin Jackson holds it down, I think he could slide into left guard and be serviceable there as well. No matter how this shakes out, no matter what position Isaiah Wynn ends up playing, I think he's a contributor. I think he's a big time player for this offense. I think the Miami Dolphins did a great job of finding a solution to their final problem here. Yeah, Nick, one final point is at the very least, if he doesn't fit in any of those positions, he would make a very serviceable swing tackle as Perfect well. Swing tackle. Something yeah. that the Dolphins have been missing since they lost Brandon Shell as an unrestricted free agency in March. So that would be, you know, a, a pick a big pickup for them well. So I think no matter where this guy fits in, it will be a big upgrade for the Dolphins in one way or another. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big-time game-winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it.